All right, hello. Um, my name's Eddie. We're gonna go ahead here and start up Adobe Premiere. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff with Dynamic Link and doing uh, chroma key with After Effects and sending it back to Premiere Pro CS5. So I'm just gonna open up this project here that I had for my class project. Um, so you see here, I have my timeline, um, and then we have some effects here. And you see once we get here, we have this little effect here where I turn this dude green and make them all angry and make camera shake and stuff. Uh, check out my tutorial on that. Um, that's another tutorial. But here we're going to show you dynamic link, Adobe's dynamic link, and the green screen effect done with key light and some color key. Um, you see this thing here? I'm going to show you how to fix that, uh, fix the shadows um, created by an uneven green screen or uneven lighting. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a clean green screen like this where the edges are all nice. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm going to take my footage of the original, I'm going to take my original footage, which is HD by the way, and I'm running on a dual core with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, take my footage here, and as you can see, scrub through it, I'm going to go replace with After Effects Composition loads up Adobe After Effects um, I'm gonna save the project to my desktop just called this green screen save that and then I'm gonna uh, have my effect here my not my effect but the footage what I'm gonna do is I'm going to import something to put behind them so I'm gonna import that um, let me hold on. Let me try this again. Importing a .mov file. So first, I'm gonna click on this footage. I'm gonna go to Effect, um, King, Key Light. So you can either do it there, or you can come over here to Effects and Presets and type in Key Light, or just type in Key, because um, we're gonna be using some of these other ones here too. So first, I'm gonna take the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna click somewhere in the middle where it has uh, an in-between sort of color so it's right in between dark and light so I'm gonna click that and you see it takes away most of it and so you see our background now so I'm gonna go into screen mat and then you see here it's sort of dusty so I'm gonna go into my screen mat here um, and I'm gonna up the clip black so that'll take away the alpha channels on the green screen itself so you see here are uh, the two people here, Caesar and Brandon, are still sort of dusty. So we'll take our clip white and lower that until they become sort of these bright figures. And then if we go into our uh, final result again, you'll see it's nice and cleared up here. And so, here, so let me pause this. And so we have our Cullen intro video behind them. And so what I want to do is I want to duplicate this footage so it fits underneath here. I'm going to move it to where it fits underneath here. I'm going to um, make the work area as long as our video footage. And so just do that. I'm going to click trim to comp work area. Or trim comp to work area. So now that we have that, um, we have our footage here. We'll just bring this up. And so you see how we still, if you look in close at the beginning here, you'll see that there's this sort of white line around them. Um, and you see here, if we use the hand tool here and zoom in on that, you see that we have this little splash of shadow here that I showed you earlier. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of that real quick and easy. So just click on our selection tool here. We'll um, we'll go into our effects layer on our original footage. We'll shut off key light for now. And don't delete it, just shut off the effect. And then we're gonna, gonna find our color key in our effects presets. You can do it over here or you can go up to effect. Um, make sure you have this clip selected. Go to effect, king, color key. And then you wanna drag, you wanna, ugh, you wanna drag this on top of key light. So you want this to render before key light does so you can get rid of that um, shadow before key light goes in 
so we're gonna click on that and you can already see that it sort of takes away um, some of the uh, green or black or whatever so we're gonna drag this back down so you just wanna up the tolerance to a good number see how here it has it you don't wanna up it too much cuz then it's gonna start taking away from like the hair and the other dark areas so we'll bring that back down to say like 13 and then we'll take a second color key just make this a little easy just take a second color key move this one above key light as well and then you'll select the other areas say like this part and then you can just up the tolerance on that one and so once you turn key light back on you'll see that most of it is gone except you still have a little bit of shadow spill there as you can see and I'll show you how to fix that and all this together takes maybe two three minutes to do if you do it quick if you do it quickly and right and then this effect that I'm about to put on next will take away that shadow spill that we had down here and that sort of white outline creating that harsh edge on there around there it's called simple choker just type choker in the uh, here or you can go click on your footage you just click here uh, effect and go into mat simple choker and then you, this can stay under the key light because you want that to stay there and basically all you do is you just move this up and it'll basically if you can see that it'll if we move this back down to zero you see how it has these white edges if we move this up it's gonna create a choke it and basically um, choking it down so if we move this all the way up you can see that it's gonna create these smooth edges around them so we, we're probably gonna put this around let's do say point ninety and see how well that does so it creates a nice a little nicer edge so we can move that up a little bit so that's pretty good right there you can see that the um, because of the choker we took out the um, that the little background piece that we had there last time so if you look you can see that it's still there you can see the white lines and stuff but when you put it on it sort of creates that uh, effect pulling it away from there so we can pull this back out um, and then once that is done you pretty much have a clean green screen here um, you could feather the edges not really much need to um, sort of it's a pretty good green screen and because it says class Cullen uh, Cullen class video whatever linked comp 04 you can see here that it's linked comp if we go back into Premiere you can see that it says here that it's link the linked composition is to the green screen After Effects project that we save and if we scrub through this you can see that it has the animation in the background um, has the animation that we have here so if we scrub through this you can see that we have the animation in the background and it's all updated here and one thing that you could do is you update and move this back on turn this back on so we can see our two stars um, we update this here and it's back here and what you can do is you can re um, you can render this video file you can render it to a video file mpeg avi dot mov or you can stay with dynamic link and then say you can link it to encore to make a dvd or blu-ray disc or you can just render it to a regular video file and so here we have a good product and here is what i did um, I when I before I did this tutorial I had this and I didn't really add any of the simple choker on so you can see here how there's still that fuzzy white line there and then here you can see that the shadow's still there and so it wasn't really good and so you can see there I didn't do much of the color key either I just added key light key light did a pretty good job of cleaning up this mat um if you look here this was our original video footage where the uh green screen is all wrinkled and stuff the lighting is uneven we have like one two three four five six seven eight nine shadows on there that that's pretty bad and we shot this not even in a studio but in um, the hallway outside of our classroom with just regular fluorescent lights like one or two of them that was on the ceiling 
So, um, Key Light did a pretty good job of cleaning up most of it, as you can see here. And then uh, the simple choker and the little color keys that we did um, took us from this to this. And I would say it did a pretty good job. And so that's how you pretty much link it in real time from After Effects to uh, Premiere Pro CS5. And so that's our tutorial. And thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and thanks.